a little bit careful here. Railway hunter Rod Beatty is guiding engineer Bashar Altaba toward a part of the railway he's recently rediscovered and the source of an enduring mystery. This is Kinsai Oak. But yeah, the, the, the railway ballast here is very, very obvious. Death rates here were among the worst on the railway. Very, very Yet the cause is hard to see. Unknowingly, Bashar is actually walking on the reason why. Kinsai Oak is a vast embankment, hidden in the jungle like a lost Inca temple. <laughs> they built a mountain in here. Well, st standing here, it looks like it, doesn't it? Jesus. Look at this. Just, just an unbelievable embankment. And we've been walking on this for hundreds of yards. Do you want to see how difficult it is to sort of walk <laughs> up and down this thing? You were intent of me getting a physical sense of how difficult it was. <laughs> huh? To experience the ride. That's it. Okay. Okay, That's so fine. I'll, I'll, I'm going to do a calculation here while you're sort of working your way carefully down there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> okay. Rod has been worried that Bashar is still looking at the railway just as an engineer. It's quite steep, actually. Now he's going to see it from the prisoner's perspective. Now remember, this is bare feet. Bare feet? They didn't have boots? Most of them didn't have boots by this time, so it's bare feet. It's pouring rain. There are no trees to hold on to, remember. An embankment that is about six foot high is not too bad. But once it gets high, which happens, of course, you know, it's very undulating. That is really murder because you think, well, when you first start this job, you think, well, oh, I can do this, it's all right. But it is, it's from early morning to late at night, up, down, up, like a human chain. Hey, Rod, you are absolutely right. There's clear evidence here of them excavating all the soil between this rock. I'm stand, I'm below the rock level right here. Now, now the trick is to pick up about a 20 pound rock while you're down there, Basher, that and, and, and bring realistic. that back to me. <laughs> that, that, that's your basket of wet soil. I can tell you I'm going to lose my... You know what? Oh, have you ever climbed a, a dune? And this is exactly the same. You cannot move, only your, your thigh muscles. Um, get that, you know, they got stiff, you can see them, and they're very, very, very painful. You cannot move, you think you cannot move. But then a Jap comes along with these huge bamboo sticks, and you get moving, all right, just to get rid of this thing on your back. Stripped of 60 years of undergrowth, Kinsayok embankment would have looked like this. It was built to stretch across a long depression in the land, too long for a wooden bridge. One more step, one more step. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, where does this go now? Just there, right there. <laughs> Your back starts killing you after a while, huh? It's not so much the arms or the legs, it's the back, because you're bending forward like this all the time. Now, <sighs> remember when you headed down there, I said I'd do some calculations. Yeah. So we've got 30 yards wide by 20 yards by 400 yards long. That's quarter of a million cubic yards of soil up here. Yeah. Yes. The basket's just like you've carried up, about half a cubic foot. Okay. Right, half a cubic foot, so we've got quarter of a million cubic yards. That's about six and a quarter million cubic feet yeah. by two. So you've only got to do another 12 and a half million trips down there <laughs> and back. But the reality is it took men it's that terrible. long, months and months and months to do just exactly what you've done. Yeah. You really do not appreciate it until you have to do it. Yeah. It's impossible to even even come close to understand it. And I must apologise, that's why I got you to... No, 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 I mean, it's, it's funny, I, 
it's one thing to read about it or to hear people talk about it, but to find yourself in the middle of it, to, to feel that you're going to be up and down with no realization of what the future is, uh, I cannot possibly imagine. The unending hard labor was bad enough, but prisoners also had to endure random acts of sadism from their guards. They pick somebody, make him stand in front of him, they give him a, a heavy boulder to put in his arms and hold above his head. A Jap sits behind him on a chair, and on a walk on, on a chair, and he has a bayonet on his, on a, on a, and he sort of sticks it between his shoulder blade. Nothing serious, just sticks it, up, it goes again. And when that happens, they really, they really wrote about laughing. The control you have to have to take it, because you know, if you don't, that bayonet goes into your, into your gut, and that's your lot. I got pinched for stealing fish once. And I got put in a, a, a bamboo cell. Uh, this was uh, four feet by four feet square and five feet high. The door was only about two feet square. Because the flies, uh, you had to make sure no flies got in because the food. Um, you were given this rice and salt and water uh, twice a day. I was in there for 10 days and um, I was just thinking to myself, it was, I don't know how I got through it really. <laughs> <laughs>